Following liftoff, the operation control of the launch vehicle has been switched from the block house to the range control center. Just over one minute and two to the flight of the HTV-7 transfer vehicle to the International Space Station. At the two minute and six second mark, we will see the solid rocket boosters, the four solid rocket boosters at the base of the H-2B rocket separate from the rocket, having completed their uh, duty in getting the rocket off the launch pad and on its way to space. The H-2B flight is on course. The Tanagashima station is tracking the launch vehicle very well. The SRBAs have burned out. Now, two minutes and seven, nine seconds into the flight, you should be seeing those uh, solid rocket boosters separate, and you can just make them out here on the live view of the rocket as it makes its way into space. Separation of the first and second pairs of SRBAs. Next up, we'll see the rocket fairing separate. That will be coming up at three minutes and 38 seconds into the uh, into the flight, just a little over a minute from now. Launch took place right on time at 12.52 p.m. Central Time from the Tanagashima Space Complex. Uh, at that time, the space station was flying about 260 miles, 262 miles above the South Pacific Ocean. animation coming from the Japanese Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency of the HTV's flight today. Rocket bearing separation coming up in 30 seconds. Engine the combustion of the first stage engine, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all nominal. The H2B flight is on course. Current altitude is about 95 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 2 kilometers per second. See the animation the they're showing the jettisons. rocket fairing separation and hearing confirmation that everything is going nominally and that those fairings separated just as planned. Next up at 5 minutes and 43 seconds into the flight, we'll see the main engines cut off. In the meantime, everything uh, going just uh, according to planned today's launch, which again took place at 12.52 p.m. Central Time.
less than a minute to go now until the uh, until the uh, main engine cutoff for the H2B rocket uh, carrying HTV7 in space. That's coming up at the five minute and 43 second mark and we are currently five minutes even into the flight. It's five minutes after we off. The combustion of the first stage engine, attitude control, and trajectory are all nominal. The HTV flight is on course. Current altitude is about 147 km with the approximate velocity 3.7 km per second. The first stage engine cut off. And there is the uh, main engine cut off for the uh, H2B transfer uh, uh, rocket uh, carrying HTV7 into space. Coming, up right, coming right on time at 5 minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. We're now just over 6 minutes into the flight. The next milestone will be. Uh, oh, we also saw the separation the of the first and second engine. stage, and the next. Uh, Milestone will be the second stage ignition. Actually, the H2B has entered the range of the JAXA Guam station. The ignition occurred just as planned. The total burn time will be 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Uh, it will last until 14 minutes and 26 seconds into flight. So the HTV-7 now being powered further into space uh, towards the International Space Station by the second stage of the HTV H2B uh, launch vehicle. That second stage is 36 feet long and again the burn time is a total of 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Eight and a half minutes now into the flight of the H-2B launch vehicle into space with the HTV-7 cargo vehicle on top of it. Uh, everything going nominally. We had the uh, all the uh, planned uh, separations and the main engine cut take place right on time. And now we are uh, watching the second stage engine as it completes its eight minute and 25 second burn. Still about five, wait, five minutes away from uh, the completion of that burn. The status of the H two B is nominal. You're seeing here animation coming from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency of the H two B's flight, and as they just uh, just just confirmed everything going as planned in today's flight, which is now. Uh, Nine minutes and thirty-four seconds into the into the mission.
射撃後10分が経過しました。ロケットは順調に飛行しております。ロケットは種子島内野浦の各地上局からの捕捉範囲を離れ、小笠原局およびグアム局から追尾されています。The launch vehicle has flown beyond the ranges of the JAXA, Tanegashima, and Uchinora stations into the Ogasawa and Guam stations. The first engine is the first engine. The second 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 engine is the first engine. The combustion of the second stage engine, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all nominal. The H 2B flight is on course. Current altitude is about 280 km, velocity is approximately 6 km per second. Continuing to get reports that all is well in the H2B's flight today. It took off at 12.52 p.m. Central Time, just as scheduled, and everything has going, been going nominally as it's been making its way towards uh, what will be the final milestone of the second stage engine cutoff and then the separation of the HTV from the rocket so that it can continue making its way to the International Space Station. That's going to、uh, the second stage engine cutoff will take place at the 14 minute and 26 second mark, a little less than three minutes from now. On board the HTV 7, there's more than five tons of cargo destined to、uh, arrive at the International Space Station on Thursday. That includes six new lithium ion batteries and adapter plates that will be used to replace the aging、uh, nickel, nickel hydrogen batteries that are part of the space station's electrical power system. Those are going to be swapped out through a series of robotic maneuvers and two spacewalks that are now scheduled to take place during Expedition 57. Also includes fresh food, two new express racks, The multi purpose,、uh, those are multi purpose payload rack systems that store and support research on board the station. Also, a new science glove box that will be installed in the Japanese Kibo Laboratory for use in experiments. The launch vehicle has flown beyond the range of the Ogasawara station, and the JAXA Guam station is now tracking the launch vehicle. Also, on board, there's a life support rack developed by ESA to test a system that produces oxygen. From water using electrolysis and then uses leftover hydrogen to make methane in water using Spadier reaction with carbon dioxide, and that and then、uh, produces more water that can be turned into more oxygen. There are also two CubeSat experiments on board developed by Japanese universities one that will measure electron density and demonstrate a technology for 3D mapping of the ionosphere, and one that will perform a small scale demonstration of a space elevator concept. And then there's also on board a small re entry capsule that can be used to return science samples from the space station. The space station crew will be assembling it and then installing it into the HTV just before the vehicle undocks at the end of its mission. After the HTV 7 deorbits, the capsule will be deployed and then make its own way through the Earth's atmosphere using parachutes to land in the ocean and be recovered by JAXA ships. It can hold up to 30 liters of cargo. For return to scientists on the ground. Should see the second stage engine cut off coming up in about 10 seconds now. The second stage engine cut off. And there's confirmation that the second stage engines did indeed cut off. We've got now just the separation of the second stage from the HTV cargo vehicle come up at the 15 minute and 17 second mark, less than a minute from now.
and HTV separation confirmed. There you see the uh, flight controllers in Japan congratulating each other on a HTV nominal flight with the HTV-7 now safely in space and uh, ready to make its way to the International Space Station for a docking on Thursday.